Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, reduce lags, stutter and improvise your gameplay in Fortnite's new chapter 4 season 4 dropped recently. Once again, to ensure the video helps you out, make sure to follow each and every step without skipping any part. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is keeping your windows up to date. Once again, if you're using Windows 11, there might be a lot of bugs coming with each and every update and Windows keeps on fixing those bugs by updating. So for that, you need to go over to your settings. And once you are here, all the way down in the Windows update, you need to select and click on check for updates. If there are any pending updates possible, it will automatically download and update the Windows. I highly recommend you guys not to skip it and keep it up to date. Step number two is the essential Windows settings. And for that, you need to find the gaming section in your settings once you are here simply click on xbox game bar and make sure this is turned off xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory and you do not want this thing turned on right behind that go over to game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on this will optimize your pc by turning unnecessary applications off in the background and this will also save you from upcoming notifications whenever you're playing the game right beneath that you will find related settings in which you need to select graphics then click on change default graphics settings and enable both of these options. First one is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and second one is the optimization for windowed games. Both of these settings will help you reduce your input latency as well as use advanced features for compatibility of games on full screen mode. Now go back to graphics and over here you will find a list of all of the applications and games which uses your GPU as primary rendering hardware. So. Once you are here, you need to select Fortnite if it is already added in here. I have already added Fortnite, so I need to select options and then simply click on high performance. Also do the same for Fortnite launcher. And don't worry if this option does not show up for you, you can always click on the browse button and then go over to the installation location and then simply select Fortnite from here and add it. Now once you're done with the Windows settings, Close it and let's move to step number three that is de-animating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations and disabling them will help you save a lot of memory as well as performance power. And for that, you need to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once the performance option opens up, you need to simply click on adjust for best performance, then show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Make sure to enable both of these options as it will preserve your look of the windows and you will also get performance boost with this. Also go over to the advanced part and then for the processor scheduling make sure that it is set to programs. Now if you want to set the virtual memory I would recommend you guys to go check out my RAM optimization video from the link in the description below. Step number four is the boot configuration and this is also super helpful whenever you're playing the game. For that simply search for system configuration on your PC and once this small window opens up you need to select the boot part. Simply click on advanced options, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will ensure that your windows boots up pretty quick and it will also ensure that your games will be running on better performance in the longer run. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply and close system configuration. Step number five is using game booster to optimize your game for better FPS as well as lower ping. You can simply go to the link in the description below and download gear booster for completely free. This application has a really simple interface. Once it opens up, you need to simply click on this search and boost and simply look up for Fortnite. Now the new update was recently dropped, so it is in the hot segment. Once you are there, you need to simply select Fortnite and then over here, you need to click on change and select the nearest region to you. For me, it is Middle East servers and once you're there, you need to click on the node and you will see which server that it is connected to. Right now, I will be getting an average of 44 ping, which is at least 173% improvement from the previous one. Now, the best part of this application is the configure part. So you need to simply go to configure and then in the system settings, click on start boosting on startup and then simply click on run on startup as well as remain connected during sleep mode. Now, this will ensure that this application opens up right with the boot. So you don't need to open this up each and every time and it will auto boost your games whenever you open them. Also so go over to the optimization settings and make sure to enable all of these booster settings. Once you're done with that, it will always ensure that you get better FPS as well as lower ping in your games. Now you can simply minimize it. 
Gear Up Booster works for a lot of platforms such as Windows, iOS, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and a lot more and it supports a ton of games so I would recommend you guys to go check it out, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is really really beneficial, I highly recommend you guys not to skip it. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you are here select your local disk C, click on configure and then make sure the tunnel system protection is enabled. Simply click on create and name it Fortnite just so you remember it and simply click on enter. Now I would recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to revert back to old settings or you just don't like the new settings, you can always use the system restore point and get back to your original settings without any data loss. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. Now next step is the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Also if you face any downloading issues, you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Simply open this pack up and open up the first folder which is the CPU priority. In here you need to select which CPU that you are using. And to know that you can search for system information on your PC and over here look for the processor. Mine is an AMD processor but it could be Intel for you. Also take a look on your installed physical memory, it is 32 GB for me because we're gonna need it later. Now as I'm using AMD CPU, I need to select the AMD CPU priority but I've also left the Intel CPU priority in this folder as well. Now you need to run this CPU priority because it will help you to boost your CPU's performance. Now go back to the second folder which is the registry optimization and over here you need to apply the exclusive full screen as well as Fortnite optimization. Also you can revert these settings by simply clicking on re-enable stock optimization. Both of them will help you to increase your FPS whenever you are in game. Third one is the RAM optimization and this is where you need to utilize the RAM that you have seen in your system configuration. I am using 32 GB so I need to use this but if you are using any other I have left a ton of presets to choose from right over here. Now I have also left a reset to default registry over here just in case you don't like these settings. Next folder is the batch tweak and over here you will find two simple batch files. First one is the clean temporary files. Second one is the useful tweaks. You can simply right click and run this as administrator. Once it opens up, it will ask you to delete all temporary files and you can simply press any key to continue. This will make sure that all of the cache files are deleted from your PC and don't worry this won't delete any important file, these are just the temporary files created by your PC. Also right click and run the useful tweaks. It will apply all of the important tweaks. Once it is done. You need to select the programs folder and over here you will find command line.txt. You need to open up command line.txt, copy this whole line, open up Epic Games once again, click on the three dots in front of Fortnite, go to options and then make sure that you disable the high resolution texture as well as direct x12 shaders. Now I have Fortnite save the world so I have downloaded it but if you do not own save the world you can simply remove this as well and uninstall save the world. Simply click on apply and that will delete the shaders. Now click on these three dots again, go to manage then select launch options and over here paste these launch options and simply close this. Now you have applied the launch options, simply minimize epic games launcher. The next one is park control setup. You need to run this setup and you will install an application called park control. Once you've installed this application, you will see an interface like this and over here you need to make sure that plugged in and on battery, both of them parking is turned off. By default, Windows has this tendency to park all of the unutilized cores and it could lead to FPS loss whenever you are playing the games. So disabling the parking will make sure that all of the cores are working on your PC. Just copy the exact same settings and for the power plan, select high performance over here. Simply click on apply, click on ok and you are good to go. Now last one is the best in game settings and for that you need to open up Fortnite. Ok so for the best in game settings what you need to do is press your escape key and go to settings. And once you are here I would recommend you guys to set your window mode to full screen and your resolution to the native resolution. However you can lower it down a bit so that you will get better FPS. But if you have a decent computer, go with the native resolution. For vSync, I highly recommend you guys to turn it off as it fixes your FPS at 60. So if you don't want your FPS to be capped, just simply turn this thing off. Frame rate limit set to unlimited. Rendering mode, you can set it to DX11 or performance low graphic fidelity as both of them will give you better FPS. I personally find that DX11 works best for me, but setting it to performance low graphic fidelity will also help you to get best FPS if you're on a super low end computer. Then motion blur, I recommend you guys to turn it off. For quality presets, keep it to custom, anti-aliasing and super resolution, 
TSR low helps best for me, but if you have a super low end computer, you can simply turn this thing off. However, if you keep it to Nvidia DLSS performance, it will also work best. So just check whichever works best for you. For 3D resolution, go with 100% with TSR low, I go with 100% 3D resolution. But if you're using something else, you can set it to 50. Then dynamic 3D resolution should be turned off. Nanite virtualized geometry, you can turn it on if you are using DirectX 12, but if you're not not using that turn this thing off shadows i highly recommend you guys to keep it off since it is not good for visibility as well as fps global illumination keep it turned off reflections off view distance keep it epic and all three of these settings keep it low show fps keep it on and rest everything keep it off and nvidia reflex low latency keep it on plus boost once you're done applying these settings click on decline because you're gonna restart our game later go over to the settings part scroll all the way down and make sure that your record replays are off these are huge fps consumers and if you have enabled them i recommend you guys should turn it off before it causes issues on your game once you're done with that simply restart your game and you are good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button down below since it really helps me out we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out